In this demo, I'm going to show you how to migrate a connector written in Java that share data with multiple systems using Apache Kafka. So our job here today is to migrate this connector from on-prem to AWS so this connector can start sharing data with the applications already deployed there. Without further ado, let's do it. So we're going to start things off by running a local build of our Java code using Maven. So I'm going to run the command Maven package to generate uh, the jar file. But as you can see here, there are errors going on on our tests. So what we can do is to skip the tests during the build, but I don't remember the exactly command that I could use. So for those use cases, you can use QAI to help you out with the command line. So I'm going to ask how to execute the Maven build keeping the tests. So the recommendation is to use the parameter dash the skip test is going to simply execute and let's see if that works. Yay, it works. So this is the successful build, but skipping the test that were failing. Now we're going to move forward to actually deploy the connector that we've just built using the Amazon MSK connector from AWS. But I have only part of the code that defines the Kafka cluster he was using Terraform, but I have no idea how to create the equivalent of Amazon MSK Connect using a uh, Terraform. So what I'm going to do is use this slash dev feature from Amazon Q Developer to create a Terraform code that defines the Amazon MSK Connect service for the connector deployed locally in this project. So with this prompt, Amazon Q Developer is going to scan the project and then use Jarfire that we've just built and create a Terraform code appropriately. Let's see how that goes. So here's a recommendation that was created by Amazon Q Developer with something that we call the plan. So the plan is the set of very detailed instructions that not only is going to create some of the code that was requested, but also give some architectural guidance about what to do next. For example, it just reminded me that I have to mind the creation of IAM policies because the connector is going to need this to communicate with the system. So this is something that goes beyond code generation. It's something that has to do with architectural best practices that in a daily basis, it's something that developers struggle with and they have to kind of go through a set of uh, immersion of reading the docs, Googling and researching for what to do next because some of the problems would happen without this. So this is uh, part of our strategy here of AWS for creating a perfect development workflow for developers that helps them to achieve their goals, not only with the code, but also with the expertise on AWS and cloud. So I'm almost ready to run the Terraform code to do the deployment, but there's one thing that is bugging me with the code that was generated by Amazon Q developer, which is this is specific role that was suggested for to be used along with the connector. So I don't fully understand why this role was recommended. So what I can do is also select this piece of code sent to Amazon Q and ask for further clarification. So I can create my own prompt about explain this code and why this IAM role is required. So when you do this, you can use Amazon Q developer to actually request for further clarifications about any piece of code that you wrote or it was generated by Amazon Q developer. And as you can see here, it helps you to fully understand about the reasoning and the architectural decisions for certain approaches that related to coding. 